But hey everybody, welcome back to Chef Plays. We're not playing anything today. We're starting a new series. It's Chef Talks. And what are Chef Talks? Chef Talks, I guess, in a way, are like the podcast. However, there's no Seth. I mean, there might be Seth in some episodes. We might have some guests in some episodes. Things could change. Uh, you know, the microphone could explode. The camera could explode. Anything could happen. Although those things are things that I hope don't happen. Uh, Chef Talks will just be me being goofy, you know? Just hanging out. It's like NBC's Girls, but if all of them were cast by me, and there was only one of them, and they were in my house. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I just, you know, you, you, I talk about it a lot. I talked about it in yesterday's video, where I like to kind of be personal, and I like to just sometimes do this type of stuff. I love video games, but uh, I'm finding that I do them so much for the channel that I'm starting to not enjoy them as much on my own time, so I want to step back from them a little bit, and uh, sometimes the only way to do that, ooh, ooh, yum, 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 is to enjoy a branded cola drink, which we're not sponsored by, so... I accidentally covered up the brand name. Diet soda is not that great when you slurp it. It gets so foamy. <laughs> but yeah, there's really no point to these videos. It's just kind of when I want to break down and be goofy for 20 minutes. And they will be 20 minutes long. Uh, so yeah, it'll be like Joe Para talks you to sleep, but it won't be 10 hours long. And it's if Joe Perra was cast as me. It, you know, like, today I want to do voice impressions and talk about uh, the subject of comedy. So, voice impressions, it's no news that I can do them. I've done them on the channel before a couple times. Uh, speaking of comedy timing, we're not in my room. We're recording in the dining room because the sound for this mic is way better in the dining room. Because there's a lot more open, whereas in my room, uh, there's not as much space, so it sounds a little condensed. But it sounds pretty good down here. So, these videos are going to take forever to edit, by the way. And I have to go to bed soon. I have work in the afternoon. It's not a long shift. But back on topic. Voice impressions, I have been pretty upset about lately. Because you'll see someone do like phenomenal voice impressions. And all the comments are like, oh, it's AI, oh, and like, oh, you can tell it's fake because AI is advancing. Like, we'll throw up uh, part of a clip right now. Uh, hold on. Before we throw the, throw the clip up, let me get the guy's name so that I can give him, like, proper, um, you know, name credibility there you go his name is kevin sanji sanji throw up the his tag real quick like his tiktok account and then play the beginning of the clip what happens next is one of the most harrowing things we've captured on camera so far hello i brought pizza how about i take a slice why don't you have a seat for me so with that clip it's like a three minute video, but I just wanted to play the beginning. If you watch through the video, you can hear not only the echo in the room, but the way the S's are pronounced, like the way he pronounces them as Chris Hansen, is the same way he pronounces them as himself. Like, and not that there's anything wrong with Lisp, obviously, that's not what I'm getting at. But I'm getting at that's the things to look for with legitimacy when it comes to these things, you know. Uh... And it just, I felt so bad seeing that, like, 90% of the comments were like, This is AI, actually. Uh, I know this because when I do the AI, it does the voice, the silly voice. But it's like, bro, just let the man have it. If you take two seconds to look at the rest of his account, it's like 90% of him just doing impressions of people. So I don't know why it would be so out there for this one to not be uh, an impression, for, but for it to be AI. I was going to throw in some voice impressions of my own, because this is a really good mic, and now that I'm in a better spot for recording this. The last time I did impressions, I wasn't even using a mic. I was just using the computer's mic. Uh, so I wanted to do it with this one. 
to kind of do a side by side, but I don't remember all the impressions I did in that video. Uh, hold on. I wonder if I can actually pull it up. Whoa, that's me. Uh, we're not going to pull it up. I don't know how to do that and have the audio. So we'll do that on a later date. But yeah, you know, next time we do Chef Talks, we'll do, uh, we'll have the audio with it. Impressions, side by side. How often am I going to do these series? Uh, I don't know. I guess whenever I feel like it. So, this is not the big project, by the way. The big project is... Again, not going to talk about it, but... Anyway, next topic is comedy subjectiveness. Because this is something I'm seeing come into a lot of argument as well. The subjectiveness of comedy is so wide. Like, for example, let's take a TV show, right? I love the show Auntie Donna's Big Ol' House of Fun. I've watched through it like three times. Cause I mean, it's a quick show, and it's funny satirical comedy. Uh, but, you know, someone else might not find that as funny. But that's alright. I'm not going to be like, What? You don't think this is funny? Ugh. Shame on to you. No, I'm going to be like, Okay, that's fine. What do you find funny? I might not ask, because I don't care. But, uh, <laughs> it's not true. <laughs> I might not ask what they find funny, but I'll be like, all right, you know, I get that. Uh, I just think it's, I think it's a funny little show. I'm a big sucker for sub, uh, sketch comedy. And again, not a lot of people are. Okay, let's, here's a good example. Let's take my mom, for instance, right? She does not find, <laughs> I'm not going to say the names of them because I don't want people coming after my mom. <laughs> Uh, but she doesn't find certain comedians funny that I find hysterical. Uh, do I bully her for it? Maybe. Does she bully me for enjoying those comedians? Probably. Uh, but that's, that's cause that's my mom. I wouldn't handle that situation with like, I'm meeting someone for the first time and I'm like, just an ex example. I'm like, Hey buddy, do you find Tim Robinson to be funny? Oh, well, that's awful silly of you, you big little silly goose. I come from a land far from here. I do not understand your comedy. And that's how that conversation would probably go down. Diet, non-brand, cola, drink, break, stuff slaps. But I think the fact that comedy subjective is totally fine. Because, you know, I enjoy sketch comedy. Uh, this is a project that... I can't guarantee will go into fruition. I can't guarantee will actually happen. But I want to start writing sketch comedy uh, for the channel. I haven't told him yet, but I'll ask Seth to be a part of it. I'm sure he'd have fun with it. And, you know, not everyone's going to find that funny. It's going to be very stupid humor. Um, it's gonna, It's just going to be dumb. Because that's the type of comedy that we enjoy, is that stupid, blatantly obvious, like, dumb humor, like, a lot of Will Ferrell stuff. Think Step Brothers. It's hilarious, but it's stupid comedy, you know? Like, a, the whole premise of the movie is a stupid comedy. You can think of it as, like, satire or silly wacky. But the brass tax is it's stupid comedy. It's two 40-year-old dudes acting like 12-year-olds and stupid comedy. But it's to me, it's one of the best forms of comedy. For me, it definitely goes uh, stupid humor, sketch comedy, improv. Top three favorite types of comedy right there. And sketch comedy is a recent one for me, too. I uh, first started enjoying it. When, well, I guess you could say, like, technically, like, 2012 Smosh, like, early Smosh, uh, but, like, as in, like, TV, like, big show brand, uh, I think you should leave. Like, that's a really good one. Uh, and again, Auntie Donna's Big Ol' House of Fun is a super funny one, at least to me. Uh, you might not find that as enjoyable as I did. I know I said this would be 20 minutes. 
but at the, by the end of the video, it might be a little shorter because I'm going until the timer says 20, but there's definitely going to be a lot of jump cuts and jump cuts. I don't even know what this is, really. I just, sometimes I just like to be a goofy little camera boy. i uh, be silly on the camera. And so this is what it's doing. This is, this, this is what we're turning it out to be. And Facebook... It's just going to be random little silly little goofy little stuff, you know? And that's okay, because some people might even find just this enjoyable. I know I find it enjoyable. I'm kind of just rambling about... You Maybe you guys can let me know what you'd like me to talk about for Chef Talks. Because I want to... I, I don't even know how I would continue this. This was just me, like... It was going to start out as... Not even Chef Talks, but it was just going to be in a live with Chef where I re-upped my voice impressions. Uh... But then once I set everything up, I was like, this looks way too professional for me to just, and it took like 15 minutes to set up the setup that I'm at, uh, for me to just sit here and be like, yeah, well, you're my best friend, so my favorite person is the Shane Lizard. And my mom had a Gary. You know, stuff like that. Uh, I might throw a couple in there right now, just because uh, we're here and we're set up, so why also not waste the opportunity? Look at this thing. I found it destitute like a dog snapchat sometimes halo will be the guest and i'll just sit here and love on the cat for like five minutes this is my baby like this is the closest thing i'll have to having a child for a while and i know what you're thinking and no it's not because of my haircut it's a choice um, but yeah, so let's do some more voice impressions. Don't smack the microphone. Let's do some more voice impressions. Let's, we're going to try some voice impressions I've never done too, just to give it a shot. But we're also going to do ones I know I could do. And some I think I could do better. And some that I know I can't do, but I just enjoy trying. Hey, Donald Trump. This one's mainly for Seth, because I hate trying to do his voice. Because I can't do it. Every time I try to do Donald Trump, it just comes out as not Donald Trump. <laughs> Alright, here we go. I procrastinate this voice a lot because of how bad it is. Snapchat, stop. It could... Nope. <laughs> Crooked Hillary, yay. Nope, that's too much inflection. Crooked Hill... Nope. <laughs> nope. Crooked Hillary. It's rich magnificent. No. No, no. It's magnificent. Uh, I, I just can't do it. I can't do it. But you know what I can do? I can do Matt Watson. Here's, um, a terrible Owen Wilson. Oh, wow. Radiator Springs? Uh, dogs? Wow. I've never even really tried his voice before other than saying wow. So, hey, look, get... I'm gonna bonk your noggin. Let's see, who else do we can we do? My name is Walter Hardwell White. I live at Breaking Bad Lane on Fox News or Fox TV Avenue. I've never seen the show before. Now that I want to do voice impressions, I can't think of any that I can do. I used to be able to do some that I know I can't do now. Like I used to be able to do Peter Griffin really well, uh, but I don't think that's one I can do anymore. Uh, hold on, let me try. Whoa! It. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't change my voice at all. That was a goof. Let's try this again. Lois. No. 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 I can't do it. One that uh, Seth used to be able to do. I don't know if he still can, but I could never do that one either as uh, Stewie. Brian was with a really dumb girl. And now he's taking his friend Stewie to get some ice cream in his car. No, that was really bad. That was really bad. I don't know why I said it like that. Man, I just, I'm blanking so hard. This is probably like the cringiest video I've made to date. Uh, and it wasn't cringy up until I started trying to do this. Uh, let's get like two more voice impressions in. Who can I do? Hmm. Oh, jeez, Rick. Rick? Where are you, Rick? Morty. I turned myself into a pickle, Morty. Oh, that's a voice I've been getting better at as a uh, Mermere. 
Cat exploded, don't mind that. You s you value your privacy over the safety of your own son, brother. I'm going to cut off your head. Fair enough. You seem like a calm and reasonable person. Are you a calm and reasonable person? That was Thor from the God of War Ragnarok. Uh, let's just throw in a, a couple quick ones. Because we are at 20 minutes. So, <clears throat> Link. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Mario. Yahoo. No. <coughs> Yahoo. It's me, Mario. Yaha. Mario. That was Toad. Whichever one you want. It could be this one. It could be this one. It could even be that one. I don't care. But it was definitely Toad. I keep like doing the Kubrick stare unintentionally because instead of watching the camera, I'm watching the recording of myself. And because I have a big old honking nose. My glasses like slide down because I have a fat head uh, as well, and so I like look over my glasses. It's like I'm about to threaten you with the returning your library books. Uh, they're about two months overdue, and if you do not return them, I'm going to have to give you another warning. All right. So yeah. Oh, I'll try a couple more voices real quick. Hermit the Frog is one that I've been able to do for a long time. It's kind of falling off. Droopy's another voice that I've been able to do since I was about 12. It used to kind of make me sad, but lately, I've been pretty happy. Oh, Mickey Mouse. Hey, Goofy! <laughs> Hiya, pal! Oh, that was really airy. Hold on. Let me get some more, uh, Diet No Brand Cola. <laughs> That was an impression. That was a Minecraft pig. I just didn't say it. But yeah, you know, this was the first episode of Chef Talks. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you're having a good day. If you're watching early on, have a good rest of your day. I'll see you in the next one. And I know there was really no full point to this video, but I just wanted to do it because it sounded fun, seemed enjoyable, and uh, we'll see if I do it again. And if I do, it may just be me. Or we might have some guests. Uh, we might do a little bit of dancing. Maybe. Might do a little bit of singing. Maybe. Uh, or I'll never do this again. So. See ya!